what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more black sales season 3 episode 4 is what I'm doing today and I hope you guys have been enjoying the series you have shown that much love a lot of people a lot more people I think it's the most watched thing on early access right now so I have to say most people have signed up to watch black sales early on the channel and I really do appreciate all you guys that have signed up recently for early access um, to watch those episodes early so you don't have to wait a whole literally of you know two weeks to see the new episodes that are already on early access so I really do appreciate y'all anyways let's get into it our boys are back in town okay the boys are back in town well not really in town but I just wanted to say that <laughs> but not really back in town they looks like they they found land on some island but it looks like they might be um gonna be under attack i mean they're you know what i'm saying they're not at i don't think they're at full strength right now i mean i know we got the shark and everything um and the wind returned so they're here right we got horny gold and dufresne delivering the speech on the island because they didn't want a full-scale battle because you know they were prepared whatever um um I i'm surprised that hornigol is still that respected on the island though like that that's kind of that's kind of throwing me off because i don't like the dude anymore like i used to like him but then you see the type of person that he is like he's the type of person that kind of him and Dufresne, they kind of like the easy way out you get what i'm saying and it's not it's not to say that what they're doing is just in the wrong and you know if somebody presented you with this opportunity if you wouldn't take it if i was in their situation in this time and period where i was offered somebody comes up to me and be like hey what you're doing is wrong we could give you a clean slate right we can give you a clean slate right um just throw down your guns and come back under colonial rule hell no i'm not taking that deal there's no way i'm gonna take that deal one pretty much everybody on the island is rich right now pretty much everybody because pretty much everybody has gotten a share of well not everybody has gotten a share of the gold i know that but pretty much everybody can earn a very good living over there have their own land whatever the situation is they can build something there but to be under colonial rule eventually you know what i'm saying like if i'm just saying i wouldn't take it i wouldn't take that deal you know what i mean because you're talking about them talking about oh you know come back into civilization and all this other stuff and there's there's so many things that you would be subjecting yourself to like if you gave me the chance not necessarily to 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 you know be outside of the outside of the the boundaries of law and order but if you gave me the chance to be like hey this is a free country you can do you know whatever you want but we just have these laws that you have to follow which is you know you know quote unquote civilization right so if you gave me that choice and gave me um the, the choice between that and just you know existing and 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 be able to just travel don't have to worry about health insurance and all of these other stuff that is in place as in civilization right if you gave me that choice i would take it you get what i'm saying there's just there's so many rules especially when it comes on to america itself like there's so many rules there's so many things that cause you to not exist like you know what i'm saying like why do we have to have homeless people when there's so many empty homes why do we you, you get what i'm trying to say like civilization creates these problems you want you want you wanted to say something because you know you know i'm right <laughs> right you know what i mean like civilization is what creates all these problems that we have i'm not saying that we can't have stores we can can say that we have if everybody and everybody's gonna be like oh that's social you know that's socialism or whatever or communism if you want to call it that socialism communism um if you want to call it that and a lot of people look at 
you know, communism. I don't like the concept of communism. Um, I'm socialism, you know, it could be, I want to say, <laughs> what do you call it? Tweak it a bit. You know what I'm saying? It's not all bad. That's what I should say, right? It's not all bad. Socialism is not all bad. You know what I'm saying? Communism, is just, it's all bad. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But socialism is not all bad because there are aspects of socialism that exist in America today. Whether you like it or not, it's not an entirely capitalistic society that, you know, that is in America in most countries around the world. It's not completely that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have, you know, like in Canada, you have free health care and stuff like that. I think in Canada, you don't have to pay for college either. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. So I'm not going, don't quote me on that. I'm just saying some stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't cause them to not have problems anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like these problems still do exist. You know, you have people that choose to be homeless. You have people that does that. So for me, it's just like in the context of the show, I would never take that deal because you're, you're basically throwing your throwing away real freedom you're throwing away real freedom for um supervised freedom right real freedom versus supervised freedom it's not really freedom at all you get what i'm saying but that's just what i'm saying you know what i mean so we'll see how how this continues now that two of the storylines have bumped heads now we can concentrate on just these two storylines that are going on right now which is what's going on with flint side of things and things are going on in nasa so let's get it man i'll see you guys for the review let me tell y'all something man let me tell y'all something <laughs> okay let me tell y'all something right now, off the bat. Four episodes through this, this show, it's captivating, man. As I told you guys before, man, if it wasn't for the fact that I was reacting to, you know, other things on the channel, I would have been done with this series. I would have binge watched the entire thing already. It's that good. You know what I'm saying? It's that good. I love it. Listen, guys. So, we found there at the end that Mr. Scott himself is the king of this place. Because I was wondering, why do they keep talking about this husband? You know what I'm saying? And it turns out that this is, this is probably going to be um, the way how Flint gets out is from Mr. Scott coming back. Because he's the king of this place. He is the king of this place. How this happened? I don't even know how... He became king. I'm not even going to try to speculate. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to have some sort of flashback or something of the sort. Hopefully he survives because he did get shot. I think he will. And I think this way, this is how Flint and them is going to get away from this place because Scott is going to explain to them, hey, I've sailed with this dude. This dude is the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. You have to protect the place. I get it. That's what I'm saying. I can't. I can't disagree with her as the queen. I can't disagree that I understand what the daughter is saying, but I can't disagree with her because you got to understand when you're, when you escape from slavery, bro, that's not something you want to get back to. That's not, you have, you don't have no desire to even allow the simplest of things that could even, you know, for a second pierce that armor that you have right now you're not allowing it anything that could go in that direction we're going to eliminate all oppositions no matter what because you never know and that's the thing you just met them for a day you don't know them so that's the thing like i can't as much as i want to see flint and them out of this situation he made a very good point he's like i know what this woman is thinking you get what I'm saying? I know what this woman is thinking, man. 
she is thinking that she what you got to do when you have that weight of protecting people on your shoulders you would do anything to protect that and protect them you know what i'm saying so um it's not even about her being queen and big up there or whatever the situation is understanding things from her perspective is very valid too i do understand where the daughter is coming from but you just met these people and as much as i love them and i know they're telling the truth I still wouldn't trust them if I was in the queen's position of, of even if I was in the daughter's position, I would not trust them. She trusts too easily. And honest, I, I really do understand where she's coming from as a daughter, but as the queen, I more side with her and her decision as much as I don't want to see Flint and them die. You, she has valid reasons for eliminating them and eliminating this threat because she has to view this as a threat even though they're pirates regardless of the situation um now when you put mr scott in the middle now it kind of makes a difference but he's not there you get what i'm saying if he was there and he you know he knows flint whatever what he's been trying to do all of this other stuff and i'm glad that mr scott kind of played horny goal and is trying to get the slaves off the island um and i think that's where he sends these people he sends them there whatever the situation is pretty cool stuff right so i mean he's been sending them food and stuff like that and stuff for them to you know so that they can survive and, and things of the sort i'm pretty sure he sends them he's the one that sends them the guns and stuff like that um so yeah man pretty cool stuff so they didn't show much i mean they they showed what was happening on the beach how vain and them um going to escape from the harbor and stuff like that you know what i'm saying it was it was a good little move there with the with the ship you know lighting the ship on fire abandoning ship and run into their ship whatever clear a path for them um pretty cool stuff man uh so it looked like Eleanor is gonna go over to their side. Uh, um, I didn't want that, but that seems like that's what's happening. But we we definitely gonna get to see um, what is gonna happen next. So I'm gonna go watch that episode now, regardless. So I'm loving this show. You guys know I'm loving this show. That was a crazy kind of reveal. I liked how they revealed that because I was thinking like who could it be you know what I'm saying like but then but then I was like it was in the back of my mind that it could be Mr. Scott but then it was like they like oh he has his own ship and stuff like that which we know is not true you know what I'm saying so it was then I was like it can't be him but then I was like there's only one like strong black character in the show so who else would it be you know what I mean so um i'm talking about male i'm talking about max man i know i know about max but i'm talking about like male strong black character that they could have been talking about you get what i'm saying that's prominent and doing all of this stuff that could be doing all of this stuff unless it could have been it could have been somebody else but then i'm saying like if you're going to write the story like this you have to write it this way when you actually think about it you have to write it this way but anyways guys thank you guys so much I'm sorry i'm rushing this review because i want to go watch the next episode thank you guys so much like comment now we catch you guys later peace